I would hate to suffer with the regret of what if I only would have tried. Yeah. I never, it, it hurt me. When I remember being in prison, watching all them different artists on TV, winning Grammys and whatever it is they win, I was like, you knowing your soul that's supposed to be. That's why yeah. I love when Inka Johnson say that. We live by this, we die by this, we don't surrender, we don't retreat. Every man must search his own soul. I listen to that quote every morning. Do I'm that. supposed to be there, but I am there. Right. Because everything I do is emulated. So I am there. I was chasing something that I already have. You know, and me standing on the side of certain people, if it's not authentic, you know, the authenticity always is going to rule. The law of lenity states that whenever two opposing forces are always rules the greater. And you know, I come as I am. My energy. Because my energy is more important to me. And I notice when I protect my energy mm -hmm. and put it where it's aligned, better things come. So a lot of things just be tests. Like the universe tests you with things. Like Drika, is that is that the one that held you down? They're my best friend. Like me, me and Drika, best friends. They're gonna be my best friend. Well, she got children, two beautiful children for me. So that's my best friend. All right. What does best friend mean? I don't just want no wife. Mm. I don't want no wife. I don't even like that title. That's some American shit. I, I want I want my best friend because, you know, you're gonna honor your friend different. Your best friend. Then you gonna honor a wife, you know. A wife just seemed like a business deal, a business title. Uh, yeah, it seemed like a business relationship. Happy wife, happy life. Like, like you gonna not piss me the fuck off, contingent upon if I'm keeping you happy. <laughs> like that, that don't. That's not. I want a best friend. I wanna, I wanna have a best friend to where if you my best friend, like we there for each other. I'm there for you emotionally. You just you have a death in the family. I'm gonna comfort you. Hey, look, you know what? I ain't gonna go to the gym today. You know, I'm gonna do this, do this, and boom, brought you some flowers. You know, just little small things I could do to let you know if you need anything, I'm here. I'll do respect. I ain't trying to disrespect no woman. I please don't take don't no woman take this disrespect. You got fake eyelashes, you got fake hair, you got fake ass, you got fake everything on your body, but you want a real nigga. Like, I worked hard for these results. I suffered. I went through the fire. Adversity builds character. I went through the fire for this. I only had surgery one time on my leg when I got shot. Nigga knocked my bone out my leg because I ain't about to, I wouldn't give it up. God bless the dead because I ain't going to give it up. But anyway, long story short, you going to kill me anyway, so I might as well fight for my life. You going to kill me anyway. So... Anyway, long story short, not again. I, I just that surgery fucked with me so bad that I can't see myself willingly going through that again. I can't. So I worked hard for this shit. I suffered for this shit, and I was honest with everybody. I said I became so infatuated with being slim and having a body. I used to take Adderall to go to the gym. I used to take so much pre-workout. It probably would have bust my heart. By the grace of God, I'm still here. You do need a good woman. Without a good woman, a man is handicapped. But you know what you also need to have? You need to love yourself, and that person need to love they self. <laughs>